The Grey Cup week is in full effect as the over 100-year-old trophy literally touched down in Hamilton. Matt Ingram has been trekking around the city as league executives, coaches, players and fans officially welcomed Canada to Hamilton. Taz, it was quite the spectacle today over the skies of Hamilton. I'm at the airport where two military Sorry, helicopters to took up with the Grey Cup and did a fly across the city over Tim Hortons Field. A lot of people obviously saw it before arriving at Bayfront Park to cheers and Oski Wee Wee's. Everybody really enjoying this very special moment for our city. A grand arrival for a grand trophy in very Canadian fashion. Oh, it was great, it was great. I'm glad I came down. Very good. Well, Especially the part with the helicopters landing and the snow blowing in all their faces. It'd take me a week to tell you how good I'm feeling about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More than 100 people welcomed the Grey Cup to the city this morning at Bayfront Park. It was carried out by the chopper pilots with an official okay. escort from the Mounties. Oski! Oski Wawa! Holy Mackinac! Tigers! Ticat owner Bob Young matched the fans' excitement. As excited as I was in 72. League Commissioner Randy Ambrosi paid tribute to Ticat legend Angelo Mosca, who recently died, and talked about our country's and city's strength in the face of the pandemic. Being here is a testimony to our to our resilience. It's a testimony to our perseverance, and 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 in this city, uh, it's a testimony to your toughness as well. The importance of this Grey Cup to Hamilton was a sentiment echoed by the leader of the official opposition, who says it's coming at a good time. It really pulls everybody together, uh, helps us remember how resilient and strong we are as a community, uh, and gives us something to celebrate and have fun about, because people have gone through some hard times. This morning's dramatic arrival kicks off a week of festivities here in Hamilton, all leading up to the big sold-out game on Sunday. Crews were at Tim Hortons Field today, continuing to prepare for a game. Head coach Orlando Steinauer says Hamilton deserves. It's long overdue, but uh, we're kind of not worried about the past and just excited for the game on Sunday. This afternoon, he and a few Ticats spoke at the Warplane Heritage Museum ahead of the arrival of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. What better way would you want to play a great cup in front of your own fan base? Um, like Coach said earlier, I think the fan base definitely deserve it. This is great for the city, it's just especially all the small businesses and all like the restaurants and stuff. I'm pretty sure everybody got hit pretty hard during COVID. Just in the last hour, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers playing touchdown here in Hamilton, the team arriving. A few came out and spoke with the media at a press conference inside the Heritage Warplane Museum where the Ticats spoke, and the rest got on the bus and headed to the hotel. So the teams are here, the cup is here. All that's left is for Sunday, on Sunday, the Tiger Cats eat them raw.